Good day. Thank you for joining me for another Atari 8-bit gameplay video. I've got uh, set up here, ready to go, the game Montezuma's Revenge. Now, uh, humorous title notwithstanding, uh, notwithstanding this is uh, one that I played a fair bit of, actually, but I never got too, too deep into this game in terms of progress. I think you really needed to um, map this out in order to really get very far with it. Um, off the top of my head, I'm not sure what the three gameplay modes are there. Um, in any case, you are this character. Uh, Montezuma's Revenge, if you're not aware, is a colloquialism, colloquialism for Traveler's, traveler's Diarrhea that uh, you or, or people that go to Mexico fairly often experience thanks to uh, microbes, bacteria, I think, that uh, Mexican people are uh, have an immunity to, but travelers tend not to. Okay, so don't, uh, don't walk off the ed end of the uh, ledges there. You're uh, this little guy. It uh, probably has a name. Um, you are roaming the caverns here, or, or I guess more probably more accurately, the uh, the pyramids, and um, collecting keys and opening doors, um, avoiding monsters for the most part. Although you can pick up. Um, daggers or swords that give you the ability to dispatch one creature. So uh, they're of limited use. Now this is a tricky one. If you jump into the fire, I don't know that I want to try. Can I jump that gap? I don't think so. The wide gap there. I think I'm going to go down and go around. So there's no time limits here. As long as you're not going to get massacred by a creature, you can uh, think about... Oh, never mind. You can think about it for as long as you want. Um, so, can I... Hmm. I don't think... No, I can't. <laughs> the flaming pit turns you into a puff of smoke. How very convenient. There you go. You have to jump from the edge down into the middle. Um, so there's lots of little things like that that you have to kind of learn as you go along. Yeah, don't hit the creatures. Another pro tip. Uh, the good news is once you've once you've hit a creature or um, or been killed by one, you you don't have to fight it again. It disappears. Uh, keys are only good for one use. Oh, and these scepters basically give you a limited time invincibility to the creatures, which is over now, but quite helpful. So in order to get through that door to get those other keys, oh shoot, I meant to jump straight up, um, you need a blue key, and uh, I don't have one. So, can you get that sword without dying? No, you cannot. So the only reason for me to actually go down there is to get that gem, so I don't think I'm going to bother with that. Um, these platforms that come and go sort of semi-randomly. Uh, you can walk on, but once they disappear, you you drop. There's a sword. Do I want to waste it on that skull? No. Blue keys. Red. Two blue doors, two red doors. That's a, that's a lot of keys. Um, also those chains, if you, if you touch those when they're active, uh, uh, they're sort of energy chains, I guess, in the same way that those platforms are sort of energy platforms. Maybe it's magic, I don't know. Uh, poles, you can slide down, but that's a one-way thing. You can't, you can't, you can't climb those. And so here's a blue key. Oh, oh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. The, uh, come on, the treadmills. Uh, oh, wrong way.
a little tricky because when you're going in the direction of the treadmill you move at twice the speed or more. And another blue key. You can climb the ropes um, in, in either direction. 10,000 extra extra guy. Jump the snakes. Aha! Here we are. Alright, so I think that sword is a bit of a red herring in a way. I should be able to get... Oh, did I use my sword? I must have. Ah, dope. So I opened the blue door, which at least will allow me to uh, collect these things. Oh, wait a minute though. To get to to get up into the left, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, there's no way back at the top. Oh boy, I used the sword. I guess. I guess it saved me from losing a player anyway. So these ones, you have to be. Once you start jumping, you got to be pretty quick. So let's see if we can time this properly. Off, on. Just barely. So I've got, oh, two blues and two red. How about that? That's exactly what you need for this area over here. One, two, three, four. White key. See if I can hit the rope. There we go. And down we go. Further into the temple. Left and right, an empty chamber there. Get the gem, why not? Skeleton, or skull rather. Uh, let's think about this for a second. Presumably you could hop from ledge to ledge to get those gems. That's merely points, so that's the only benefit to doing that. Let's maybe go back and take a look what's in the other direction here. Skull. Ooh. Now that is a giant pit of fire. Wow. Not much. That's tricky. Did it. Okay. Do I want that scepter? Maybe not. Maybe not just now. Save that maybe. Pull gems and a sword. Or dagger. I guess it looks like more of a sword. Let's get the sword and see what's over. I do have a blue key. I could go down. A little bit of a dance there. Oh, we used my sword. Okay, all right. Do I want the scepter? Not really. Oh, the timing of the chain and the thing. Or do they coincide? Oh, no, they do. They don't come on at the same time, but they go off at the same time. Okay, that's not as hard as it looks. Is that an object over there? Torch? Okay, so much for that. Um, if I wanted to try to get to the bottom there, how would I do that? There, there, there. There we go. I'm not sure about that thing in the upper left there, if that's an object or not. If so, it's not one I've, I remember seeing before. Oh my goodness, talk about bad timing. Lack of skill. Spiders and a giant pit of flame. Let's maybe give that a miss. Uh, one of those things is moving faster than the other. See if I can do this.
two skulls. Maybe we'll check what's on the right here before we go down. Two spiders. Hmm. Oh, they climb ladders. Was I here before? This is what I mean about maps. I don't know if there's a way to pause this game. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. The final turned into a puff of smoke. Um, it's an intriguing game and one that I played off and on over the years without ever really getting super deep into it. Like, kind of like I did here just now. You know, I got a fair ways, although I don't really have a sense of how far in I really was. I don't know how deep this, this, um, I'm going to call it a pyramid. I don't know how deep it goes. And, uh, anyway... It's a, it's a nicely animated game, simplistic, but, but effective sprites, and uh, it is fun to play. It can be a little frustrating, but, uh, you know, it has puzzles, puzzle elements and action elements, and all of that makes for an interesting game a lot of the time. In any case, I don't think I have anything more to say about that right now, so uh, thank you very much for watching, take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time.